Those alert days are still on track for Friday and Saturday as we are tracking the storm that's going to be moving in in the next couple of hours. Really about 12 hours from now, we will have impacts here in northwest Ohio and southeast Michigan. We will have, of course, the rain starting us off and then really the impacts that we're watching are going to be those wind gusts. Still forecasting those to be around 50 miles per hour, if not even a touch stronger than that, that will cause the blowing snow, reduced visibilities, and also we have frigid temperatures that are moving in. We are talking wind chills that will be well below zero and air temperatures themselves are only going to be into the single digits. So let's time out the latest timing of our storm. So we are going to be finding those those rain and snow showers to really start lining up and taking shape later on this afternoon and this evening. So here we are at seven o'clock. We'll start to see that rainfall moving over. Temperatures will be a above freezing at this point, roadways will be wet. As we head into midnight, even towards 2 o'clock in the morning, that's when we're going to start to see that Arctic front pushing through. So that's going to bring that cold air in, and that's going to be the flash freeze. So that's going to turn any rainfall over to snow, and that's also, though, going to take those wet roadways and turn them icy. That's why we were talking about concerns of black ice. It's going to be kind of that shimmery look on the roadways. Plus, that's also when we'll have our heaviest of snow moving through Friday morning, even before for sunrise and then right at sunrise you're really going to hear those winds picking up. So if you can just stay inside, that's what you're going to want to do on Friday because we're going to continue to still even see some wraparound snow and some lake effect even as we head into Saturday morning. Snow totals remain unchanged. We're still looking at two to four for the majority of Northwest Ohio. Into Southeast Michigan you will find some higher snow totals, but also though for Williams and Fulton County you will see some heavier snow. The biggest takeaway is though is no matter how much snow you get, the blowing snow will cause lows visi low visibilities, and that will be very difficult to navigate local roadways, especially though in those rural areas. So make sure you just well stay home and keep an eye on those wind gusts because they are going to be playing with the snow and blowing that around, especially if we have wind gusts even in the morning near 40 mile per hour towards the late morning, 50 mile per hour, and then we hold in that 50, 55 mile per hour range for the afternoon and into Friday evening. And that means wind chills, though it's going to feel well, kind of like winter, yet a touch mild outside. You are going to find that by tomorrow morning, it's going to feel like we're well below zero. And for some of us, we're going to find wind chills that'll be negative 20 degrees, if not negative 25. So this will be some of the coldest air and even kind of remind you of polar vortex, though it's not going to be what we have for us. We do, though, have that blowing snow in those alert days in for Friday and Saturday. Sunday still frigid as highs will be around 16. We'll warm things up, though, as we work through this forecast dry weather to catch our bre breath through much of next week, but we will finish out that 10 day forecast with mild enough temperatures that we'll be talking some rainfall.